What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay. We are here with IBA playoffs, and as you can see, your boy messed up a little bit because um, before the battle happened, uh, I had recorded beforehand and was we were ready to go, but then um, we were trying to do the little exploit so we could have as most time as possible because we didn't want the match to come down to timer. And um, Titan had forgotten that his team was locked, so he had to go fix that, and it took a little while. And I had muted my mic. I forgot to turn it back on so it's only the first like four minutes so you're not missing much basically what we're doing right here we're introducing our team hoping we didn't pick any wrong um items or anything and basically telling you to go watch the iba team builder if you have him because it explains what we brought why we brought it and who we expect him to bring um now we're just waiting chilling uh talking rambling as as per usual and waiting for him to select his team um the match was super, super, super fun. It's definitely playoff worthy. He did Titan like really, really, really has improved since I last fought him and his strats are like way better. So shout out to him on that. It was He made it very entertaining. It was very fun. Um, so straight up, we look at his team. We see Ludicolo, Rapidash, Ditto, Vanillix, Oranguru, and Kaparaja. Um, two mods that I didn't expect him to bring were Oren Guru and Kaparaja. Kaparaja I didn't expect him to bring because it performed so uh, badly last time we fought. And so I didn't think he'd bring it. Oren Guru, I sort of kind of thought he would bring it. But because of last time he didn't bring it. But I guess now he did, which makes sense. It was a great bring. Um, we lead Grace first because I predicted him to predict the um, Quillfish lead and go Galarian Rapidash. Um... But what I didn't think about was the Vanillix, because Vanillix, of course, gets freeze-dry, and that would hit harder, because um, Coolfish has no special defense. I don't run any investment on it as well, so it would definitely take us out with a freeze-dry. But we did lead Gardevoir, and this week we're running like a bulky uh, Gardevoir set, because Gardevoir special defense by itself is pretty solid. Um, special attack is very well. Um, I changed it so that way we're running 252 HP, 172 in, um, in defense and uh, 84 in speed so that's why we weren't out speeding the vanillix um i was trying to be fast enough for the goler but honestly i probably shouldn't even worried about the goler because he wouldn't have brought it anyways but he gets the aurora veil off here um we just straight up go for a calm mind because i felt like that was, that was the best play we could do um go for a calm mind right here lets us take any special hits he wants um to hit us with like blizzard or freeze dry and then we also get the special attack boost which is huge because Gardevoir's attack stat is base 125 which is very nice very nice um then um what i do here is i predict him to go out into copper raja because i feel like he just wanted to get up the um the aurora veil and dip but he didn't um and so we go for a will of us and the prediction was wrong i did do a little bit of over predicting early on but you know I figured he'd switch because in my head that's what I would have done but it was a good taunt on his part so we just fire off a focus blast here if yeah 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 hold on hold on <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself blizzard hits it connects of course because it's in the snow it does a decent chunk of damage but we eat it up pretty well focus blast lands luckily and like even with the aurora veil up and we're at plus one like that's ridiculous damage so it could have been a two hit KO had we um, not gone for the will us we could have taken this thing out and been at a good amount of HP. But we're just going to go ahead and opt to go for a Moonblast here because Focus Blast did not much. Moonblast is definitely, ooh, excuse me, hitting hard right here. So we eat that decently, but it's not enough to like withstand a, a physical hit from anybody. And so Ben and Jerry goes down right here. And I'm pretty sure I'm about to realize that my mic <laughs> is off. So. We're about to pop back on right here, and I'll catch on the episode. Bye. So I just realized that I wasn't recording. <laughs> I just realized that I had my 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 mic muted. I'm big pissed. You didn't miss much. Um, we just introduced ourselves. We took out Vanillix. Uh, I think I'll probably find a way to. I'll probably do some over recording to so, just to show you guys. But I didn't realize. Good thing I noticed it now <laughs> instead of post recording. Oh my god, that would have sucked so much. That would have sucked so much. But we are here now. The mic is on. We're working. He goes out into Dumbo. Okay, that's interesting play. Um, he might be AV. I think our best play here is to go for Willow. If I'm being completely honest. I think going for Willow will help us in the long run. 
because our taunt did wear off. Yes. So we land the Willow, which is better for us in the long run because I don't think we were going to take it out because it might be AV or it might be Choice Band. But either way, it's fine. We do die. Grace goes down, but Grace did, did some work. She did some work. She got a burn off and we knocked out the ice cream. So we're, we're still okay. The hail stops. And so now we can go ahead and go out to Quillfish. Um, do we go Quillfish here? Yeah, we do go Quillfish here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to predict him to go out into Ditto. And then I'm going to T-Wave. Or do we just get a, our layer of spikes up? Do we want to get a layer of spikes up or do we want a T-Wave? I think we want a T-Wave. I think I think Paralyzing Ditto will be huge. I don't know, he stays in. Goes for Earthquake. This shouldn't do too much. Yeah, we're eating that. We could have got a free layer of spikes up. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. I was predicting a switch. He might switch now, but hey, it, it is what it is. I'm going to go for spikes. I'm not going to overthink it anymore. If he switches out, he switches out. I thought we DC'd for a second there. Oh my god, that was scary. That was really scary. So he's not choice banded. Because he's switching his moves. So maybe he's AV. And not... And AV paired with the Aurora Veil is very scary. Did it already... I think it already wore, wore off, did it not? Y info. Dumbo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. He was he was like clay. It's cool that they show you the eight or five, which is awesome. But I don't know if what he wants to do here. Is he gonna let me pop off all three layers of spikes? Is the question. Cause I don't know what he wants to do. But I'm <laughs> I'm really mad that I really forgot to press the unmute because I had I had muted it for uh <laughs> to be quiet while uh, Titan was figuring out his stuff, and then, oh, that's unfortunate. So he withdraws right here. I think he's going. Uh, no, he's going. Which one call it? Okay, that's fine. We're gonna get another layer of spikes up. We're gonna get another layer of spikes up, and from that range of health, I do believe we KO with an icicle crash, and which one call it is gonna wear off here. He might go for a wild charge. Which is okay. We just go Rotom right here. Can't really risk. Um, wait, actually, we could have just. No, I, I don't think with the rain. I forgot what, how much health we had. I should have checked it. Should have checked it because we could have O code with Poison Jab right there because we live. Yeah, oh God. Oh God. I misplayed so hard right there. Should have went for Poison Jab. Should have straight up went for Poison Jab. We have to Will O Wisp right here. Absolutely have to. And while we're waiting, actually, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my set because I do believe if Wardom goes down right here, a Rapidash, Baton Pass, that's fine. Who's he going to Baton into? Because who does he have his physical attackers are? Doesn't have more Peko, so that's not a fear. Poncho Libre. Interesting. We missed the Willow, unfortunately. Uh, we're gonna switch out right here and go Sticky. Obviously, that's like that's clear as day. That's clear as day. And I I do believe Ludicolo outspeeds us because we don't have any speed investment, so I couldn't risk it. And we are Sap Sipper, so if he goes, he's probably gonna go for Fake Out. He's gonna D Max right off the bat. <laughs> he ain't playing no games. But I want to see how much damage. Yeah, Flare Blitz. Oh no, Icicle Crash with Oko. It does 80 to 95%, but we can't risk the miss. We cannot risk that miss. So we'd probably go for Flare Blitz because Flare Blitz is 75 to 89%. And if he comes in on a. Because we have two layers of spikes up, so we'll be fine. Max Overgo, Sap Sipper, baby. Definitely wasn't going to risk that at all. Uh, we just go for a Sludge Wave right here. So it's awesome that he uh, Dynamax first because. Is he running? Oh, he has Focus Blast. He's physical? Oh, boy! Is he physical Ludicolo? I mess with it. I like it a lot, baby. Okay, I see you, big dog. I see you, big dog. That's interesting. 
So Ludicolo. Let's see what his attack, his base attack stat is 70. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, it's it's not that good, but it's not bad either. So that's very interesting. Kind of puts us in a predicament right here. Um, actually, we straight up go out teeth, honestly. Yeah, we go teeth. Because he doesn't have the rain up. He doesn't have the rain up and he doesn't outspeed us. So we G-Max ourselves. Because he, yeah, his turns ran out. Okay, awesome. 666. Six, six. Doesn't have the rain up. He doesn't outspeed. We just go for a... Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not overthinking it. I'm not overthinking it, right? Because he does have Kaparaja still out. He does, he does. Do the question is though. I mean I feel like a thingy mabobber should kill. We go Gengar. G Max 50. Uh what are you what are you what are you Pancho Libre? Uh what is your name, bro? Ludicolo. Sludge Wave kills. So we don't even have to Dynamax right here. I think we just press Sludge Wave. Yeah, we just press Sludge Wave. Okay, awesome. I was about to G-Max and I was like, wait a minute. Whoa there, buddy. Is there really a need to G-Max? So, we're even here. Probably going going like toe-to-toe, -to -toe, back to back. Because we killed... Harambe comes out. Which is fine. And I think we just right here. We just go and max ooze. Straight up max ooze, baby. Cause we should be able to eat one. Uh, we'll see how much damage this does. Might be a special defensive wall. Ooh, if I had G Max right there, probably would have been best because then we would already been at plus one. Should have brought Dark Pulse instead of Focus Blast. Probably should have brought Dark Pulse instead of Focus Blast. Oh my god, it's taking so long. It's so scary. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely specially defensive. Definitely specially defensive. Probably gonna fire off a Psychic. Gonna go for a Psy Shock. Does a solid amount of damage. Um, do we max Knuckle right here is a question. Max Knuckle, maybe? Because either way, it's 90. Oh, it does 95. Then we go Max Knuckle. Because it's neutral. It's going to be neutral. And we're going to die right here regardless. Almost take it out. But I'm happy with that damage. I'm really happy with that damage. It's a crit. I am sorry, my boy. I am sorry. But that, that does do good damage. Now, like I said, we are going like tit for tat. <laughs> We're going back and forth. We're going back and forth. Now we go Darmanitan right here. And then we have to switch out. We're going to U-turn. And this is a close match. I did not expect physical Ludicolo. That was a good play on his part. Good lord. Because even if he was especially defensive, I mean, even if he was a special attacker, then it shouldn't have done that much damage in hindsight. Yeah, if I brought Dark Pulse, oh man, that would have been better. Should have brought Dark Pulse. That was a huge misprep. I was thinking about it and I went with Focus Blast instead. Um, I think here, what we do is go Sour Puss. Or do we go Whirlpool? Because he has... He has... What was his team? What was his team? What was his team? He has Kaparaja, who is burned. He has Rapidash. And Ditto. So, based off that, I think we go Whirlpool. I think we go Whirlpool. Because Kaparaja can't touch us. Rapidash is there, but we can try to burn it. Um, Ditto might come out, but I'm not really worried about it. 
Oh, if actually you go out into ditto and defog the spikes, that would be clutch. If you did that, that'd be clutch. That'd be really clutch. But what I can't let it come down to is Darmanitan versus Ditto. Because he probably is Choice Scarf and Wild Speed. So I have to Willow right here. Really have to Willow. Actually, I should uh, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Oh. The not getting... We met... Oh, my lord. That sucks so much garbage. He has Baton Pass, Swords Dance, Play Rough. Here's Willow again. Yeah, okay, he's gonna Swords Dance and prep for the Willow. Makes sense. We landed this time, thank God. Goodness gracious. But now we're gonna switch out into Quillfish. Because we can get the Intimidate drop off. And he's burned. And he's probably gonna go for a play rough. So we'll resist it and we can get the Intimidate drop off, which would be nice. This bottle is definitely close. Uh, the not having the Dark Pulse on Gengar was huge. I should have brought Dark Pulse instead. I knew I should have done it. I knew I should have done it. Shadow Ball hit, hits everything else hard. Just wasn't thinking. That was bad prep by me. Get the Intimidate drop off. He's going to play rough. Okay, that's fine. We're going to eat it. going to recover back some health. And then from here... We can straight up poison jab and it kills. Straight up poison jab and it kills. We're still eating that. Poison jab right here. Should kill. It does. High hole silver goes down. There we go. Now all he has left is Ditto and Copperaja. And if he goes Copper Raj right here, that's good. If he goes Ditto, I'm not really worried about it because he's going to be Choice Scarfed. And <laughs> Quillfish is not the one to be Scarfed. So I'm okay. I'm going to go on to Dumbo. So what we can do is get up a third layer of Spikes now. Yeah, we just get Spikes. Yeah, get a third layer of Spikes up. So that should be three, I do believe. Earthquake should do a decent amount. Is that a crit? No, it's not a crit. It just does that much. But he's not banded either. That's crazy. But right here, we're going to switch out into Rotom. I'm going to switch out into Rotom. Sourpuss can't really do much here. I'm gonna earthquake, levitate. I'm gonna get health back. I think we're gonna switch one more time to get an intimidate drop off, just so we're not taking that much damage. I think. Yeah, I think so. I think so. No, I think we're just gonna. Uh, you know, we're gonna volt switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Volt switch. We don't just switch out. Volt switch. I don't know if Hydro Pump would have killed based off that. Maybe it could have, but I don't know. We're going to switch back out into Sour Puss. Going to get the Intimidate drop off. Just whittle down this thing's attack stat. Lands the Rock Slide. He lands the Rock Slide. Now I think we just go ahead and go back out into Whirlpool. And then we just Hydro Pump. I think that's what the best the best play to do right there. He's probably going to go for EQ right here. We're giving Whirlpool back health, so I'm happy about that. 
I'm gonna go rock slide. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now, the what I really want to do, because I don't want the mana intent to be burned. I think if we switch out right here, we should be golden. Should be pretty golden. Because then, next turn, he dies from burn. And then he has to imposter our quillfish. And I am happy about that. Because I do not want to let him be able to burn us. That's the main goal. Now this thing is at basically minus four, I think, or minus six, because what burn does minus two? So yeah, minus two. Yes, minus four. Rock slide lands it. He's landing on these rock slides though. And we do outspeed this thing, so if burn doesn't kill it, scald will. Burn. All right, does kill Dumbo. Dumbo goes down, and now all we have left to deal with is the pesky little ditto. And we can thunder wave that thing, and then that will be game. Should be game. DNA. Gonna take spikes damage. A good chunk of spikes damage. Imposter. Yeah, I just couldn't let him uh, choose to. Intimidate is gonna pop off. That's fine. I just couldn't let him get Rotom. Really couldn't let him get Rotom or Demanitan. Rotom because he could burn us. And then he can't Thunder Wave right here. So he has to Scald or Poison Jab. Because he probably is Scarfed. If he's not, then he got me. But he definitely has to be Scarfed. And there's he doesn't really have a plethora of moves to choose. He's gonna go for Thunder Wave. Okay. Okay. Thunder Wave back at, right at you, big dog. So is he choice scarf or not? I don't think he's choice. I don't think he's choice because he wouldn't have gone for Thunder Wave. No way. So now we just go out into Whirlpool. And that should be game. He definitely had me for a second. Just from the Ludicolo and the Oranguru Bring. Very, very solid. That Oranguru Bring was very solid. Um, I really, I, I mean, I expected him to bring it the first time we fought, but the second time I was like, ma, he might not. He, so he is scarfed. Okay, never mind. So that was GG. Because there, and if we redid the situation, Rodan's basically at full. We could keep Quillfish at full. He's just going to fire off T waves and we Volt Switch and then go out into Quillfish and just keep flip flopping it and eventually maybe go out into Dark Manison. But we beat him. Good game, Titan. We move on past the first round. That definitely got me nervous. That was a crazy match. Um,. I did like his physical Ludicolo, if that's what it was. I do believe it was a physical Ludicolo. Um, that was super clutch. I like that. Clap it up for him. Very creative. I like it. I like it. I was not expecting it at all. But good game, Titan. I'm glad <laughs> we also figured out um, that we were not recording because that would have been severely unfortunate. But we are here. We're doing the damn thing. We're going off to round two and we face whoever is the winner of Kyogre and Goki's game. This match will be going up on Saturday, 10 a.m. EST. But by the time you guys watch it, you guys will know. Excuse me. You guys will know because it will be up already. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. I will see you guys in the next playoff match. And Team Builder, without further ado, I am your boy Jay. I'm going to get about your hair, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.